Hi guys, this is Otis Collier, and in this video, we're going to talk about how to create labels and filters within your Gmail account. Now, if you're familiar with using Microsoft Outlook, you know that in Outlook you create folders and you store certain emails into those folders. In Gmail, there are no folders. Instead, there are things called labels. And so we're going to create a label and then we're going to create filters uh, that will put our emails into those particular labels. So the first thing you'll notice is that I'm here at my Gmail account and you can see that you know I get tons of email every day every day and so one of the things that I wanted to do is I wanted to create some labels for certain things that I do now if you've been going through our mentoring program you know that I'm teaching you about YouTube and I'm teaching about some other marketing programs and and being able to market effectively on the web well, one of the things is is that in order to do that you have to be organized and so I always provide comments on my YouTube videos when people comment I always comment back and the way that I do that is I have YouTube send me an email to let me know that there are comments and then I go there and I comment and so this is an example of one of the emails that I got with YouTube comments so let me scroll over here so that you can actually see the full email here and what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna click on this so this actually is the email itself and it tells me that somebody has replied to my comment and typically what I would do is I would click on go to the comments I would read the comment and then I would reply back to that particular comment what I want to do is I want to create a label and then I want to create a filter so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this more actions drop down and I'm going to create new label so I'll click on new label and you'll see that this box will actually pop open and so what I'll do is I'll label this YouTube comments okay and then I'll click OK now we're gonna assume that I did that because of course I've already got this label created once you create that label what you're gonna see is over here to the right hand side here you're gonna see YouTube comments you're gonna see that this email has been labeled YouTube comments and that's great but that means that this is the only email that has that label and if you want other emails to have that label you have to go in and manually label them and no one wants to do the manual process and so what I want to do is I want to automate that process so what I'm going to do again I'm going to go back over here to this drop down box and I'm going to click filter messages like these so I'm going to click on that a new screen will pop open and this will be the create a filter screen and so what it automatically does is it it knows from that email that I that I wanted to create a filter for it says well this is coming from service at youtube.com and so every email that comes from service at youtube.com will be in this particular filter now as I scroll through and I look at my emails not all of them are comments as you can see if I look at the email here some of these are subscriptions where people have subscribed to my videos some of them are questions that people are asking that are emailing to me in my YouTube email account um, some of these are telling me that people have sent me a video and then of course we do have some that says someone replied to your comment or a new comment was posted on one of your videos and so this filter that I'm creating I want to create a filter for comments and so what I notice is that when it's a comment the word comment is always in the subject line so if I scroll back up to the top here and look at my filter one of the things that I want to do with my filter is I want to I want to say that the word comment must be in the subject line and then I'm going to click on next step once I click on next step what you'll notice is that it automatically will filter and show me all of the emails that I have right now that are comments people making comments on my video okay and so that's great and so what the filter is saying up here the filter is saying listen Otis we are going to um, use this as the um, as as the action item any email that comes from service at youtube.com that has the word comment in the subject what do you want us to do with this email that's basically what it's saying what do you want us to do with this email do you want us to mark it as red do you want us to put a star beside it do you want us to forward it to another email address 
hey, even do you want us to delete it? And the answer is, I, what I want you to do is I want you to apply the label that I just created. And the label is YouTube comments. Then it also says, well, Otis, we also recognize that there are eight conversations right now in your email box that meet this criteria. Do you want us to label those as well? And of course, I want them to do that. So I'll click this button here and then I'll go ahead and create that filter. Now, once I create that filter, what will happen? And I'm not going to create this filter for this video purpose because I've already created this filter in the past. What I'm going to do is and actually let me go back and see if I can show you the current filters uh, that I have so let me show you the current filters so your filters will now look like this and of course you can see that I have a lot of different filters here okay so I've got a lot of different filters that I've actually created okay and what happens is now when you get back to your inbox here you've got all of this email and what I do is when I get home or you know when I decide that I'm ready to work on my business I want to go and I want to reply to all of the YouTube comments that have been made on my video so instead of me scrolling through trying to find my email where I've got some comments what I'll do is I'll scroll over I'll scroll over here to my labels and then I'll click on YouTube comments so when I click on YouTube comments you'll see that it has grouped all of my YouTube comments together so that all I have to do is now go through each comment and then go to the to the website to my YouTube channel and reply to those comments that keeps me very very organized and it keeps it very very straight now the other thing that you may have noticed in my inbox is you may have noticed that some of my filters or my labels actually are color coded so you'll see the green and you'll see the orange the way that I do that is over here to the label side there's these little boxes beside my labels and what I did was I clicked on the box and you'll see that there's a color code that I can select for my label so that my label actually stands out when it meets that criteria okay um, and then I also have a I, I did the same thing for YouTube subscriptions so here's all the people who have actually subscribed to my YouTube videos and um, you guys will know in a future training why why I've created a filter for my YouTube subscribers because there's something special that I do for my YouTube subscribers as well so that's going to end this particular training session I want to thank you for uh, for viewing this and, and again if you're interested in our mentoring program please contact me at Otis at Otis .com. not only do we have community calls but we actually have one-on-one -on -one trainings where we actually work with you to help you get your business up and running and not just any business let me let me re reiterate we have a business that we actually put you in that we've selected and then we show you how to market that business and through the process you will learn how to market any business but again we show you specifically how to market one business that we're working on right now so if you're interested again please contact me at otis at otiscollier.com Thanks again, and I'll talk to you soon.